Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on, on the 1953 movie, which is also a, a, fantasy, a fantasy musical film that was released in 1953 by Columbia Pictures. And of course, I just got done watching it, watching it on Amazon this morning. And this review is on The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T. The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T is about a young boy who, who detests, ta who detests ta taking piano lessons. Bart Collins ha has, de has developed a deep suspicion of, of his strict instructor, Dr. T, raised by, by his single mother, Halus. Bart, Bart looks up to, to, to the local plumber, like, all, like August, and like, and who, when when Bart ends up in in a Seuss, in, in like a in, a in a dream world that's that's in the style of Doctor Seuss, he must join with he must join with with Zabowski to, to to rescue his mom from 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 Doctor T's clutches and stop his plan to to force five hundred boys to play a massive piano in in perpety whatever like you know. <clears throat> so yeah, that that's pretty much that's pretty much what the movie's about. So. And yeah, in case some of you guys, in case, in case some of you guys probably knew, probably know about this, today, today's actually Dr. Seuss Day. Yeah, today's March 2nd, Dr. Seuss Day, otherwise known as National Read Across America Day. Yeah, I, I saw it on the Today Show this morning, and and yeah, cause and, and I felt like watching this movie for Dr. Seuss's birthday, cause because 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 the, the way the whole setting this movie takes place in it, the, the way the whole dream world style looks it kind of it kind of looks it looks it, it kind of looks like similar it kind of looks like like a style of a Dr. Seuss style type of thing cuz yeah cuz and, and throughout most of the movie when when when, when the boy when the boy is is, is in is in the dream world it, it kind of gives you those like Dr. Seuss vibes and and also yeah D Dr. Seuss was actually the one who wrote this movie and, and this movie was actually was actually based on a concept and, and a, a story concept created by Dr. Seuss himself and and yeah and like I said he, he was the one who he was the one who wrote this movie as well which which was also which was also his his only feature his only feature film that he that he wrote and and this and like I said, this movie was released in 1953, which was met many years before before Dr. Seuss's books were adapted into movies. With the first two being live action adaptations, those being the Jim Carrey How the Grinch Stole Christmas and the Mike Myers Cat in the Hat. While the rest of the Dr. Seuss movies were were were, were computer animated, like you know Horton Hears a Who with Jim Carrey, and of course the Lorax and the 2018 Grinch with Benedict Cumberbatch. And what I like about what I like about the Five Thousand Fingers of Doctor T, what I really like about this movie is that, is that since Doctor Seuss came up with the idea and it, with, with, with came up with the concept to, to write this movie, like I, I I do I do like how the Dream World setting setting makes it feel makes it makes it makes it feel like Doctor Seuss where it gives you those Doctor Seuss vibes. And I gotta say the performances the performances I I think were really good too. And I think and I think and and I gotta say like you know the. You know, you know, the, like the boy who played who, the, like the boy who that was in this film. I thought, I thought he did a good job in this film, and including everyone else who worked on the film. And some of the musical numbers are are a little bit memorable, while at the same time, some of them were were, were pretty not that memorable at all, in my opinion. But but the songs were fine enough in the film, and you know, and and that, and that's and that and that's kind of the point of this film of, of how this movie is a musical fantasy film. And. And instead of Universal Pictures, Columbia Pictures was actually the company that made this film. Like Columbia Pictures, because I, I think I, cause I, I think if you, if you count this movie, this movie, this Doc Seuss movie would would it might have been the only Doc Seuss film that that he wrote, of course, that 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 wasn't made by Universal Pictures, or you know, 20th Century Fox, because because this movie was actually from from a Sony company. But yeah, and it's like. I, I really, I really like how, like how the concept, and, and, and I, I like how it has it had some cool concepts, and how and how and how and how it gives it kind of gives you those little little, little, little Doctor Seuss style. I mean, it's I know I know I know I mentioned I know I'm I know I'm mentioning that uh, many times, but but you guys already know by now. So, and I think I think later last year, I, I think I actually first heard about this movie. I think when I was doing research, when I was doing research on Wikipedia. 
I actually first heard about this movie when I was doing research on Wikipedia and 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 I and I've been and I've been thinking about watching this movie for for, for National Read Across America Day, Dr. Seuss Day today, and I did. Yeah, and so. Oh yeah. Plus, I, I've heard from one of my Facebook friends that 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 one, what, that one of their fathers actually actually remembers watching the film on TV at the time when, when they were like five years old. But 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 at the time when this movie aired on television, it was actually the black and white version. The version I watched, I watched on Amazon was actually in complete color. So I think the black and white version may be hard to find. I think the black and white version may be rare, and I think it's probably more common for the color version. But it doesn't. But it, that doesn't really matter. And, and yeah, so I rented it off of Amazon, and plus, it's also currently, it's also currently streaming on Tubi right now, but I'm not really that big on Tubi. And, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to say about the film, so, overall, the five, <clears throat> excuse me, aside from all that, overall, The Five Thousand Fingers of Dr. T was a pretty good movie. And I'm gonna give this movie, I'm gonna give 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T three and a half out of five stars. It was pretty good overall. So yeah, if, if, if you love Dr. Seuss and if you haven't seen this movie yet, then I, I say this is a good watch. And it, and it doesn't have to be on March 2nd. It can be like any day. Like you can watch it like here or and there or anywhere. Cause that, that was actually that was actually a connection to the Dr. Seuss book, Green Eggs and Ham. Like, would you like it here or there or anywhere? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, guys. So I, I recommend checking out this movie if you haven't seen it yet. Or, or or if you haven't seen it in years, then this is probably a good revisit or something like that, probably. Hmm. And there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my review on The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Mystery Crazy saying goodbye everybody and that's about it.